start with in-person questions. So go ahead whenever you're ready. Um, just, just to go from the beginning of the day to go from uh, half the win to get into hosting the playoffs by, uh, how awesome is that? Yeah, great. I think obviously us knowing that it, that it's in our hands is is nice, you know, and, then, and it's down to us and our responsibility. Um, and honestly, I thought we played well still, which is a credit to this, this group with so much pressure. Another clean sheet for Fords, which is great. She's been fantastic for us, you know, not just this season, but last season too. So to keep building with her clean sheet after clean sheet is nice for us. Um, so yeah, we're, we're excited. And now we just move forward to to Friday. You know, I think it was a, a really professional performance from us today, so. Anything? Um, um, no, I think it was similar to what she said, I feel like we came out today and we created so many more chances than we have felt like all season. And I think it showed that when we're on, we're like impossible to beat. Um, I think, yeah, everybody kind of had the same attitude going into this. Like, this is our last chance because we are last game to go, go out there and put everything. And I think we've been working towards that. And I feel like we've had a tough few games recently, um, but we've always had each other's backs. So I think we've been pushing each other every day. So. Just that word from here. Awesome. Um, you guys had been knocking on the door the whole game, but obviously things open up after halftime. Was it adjustments made? Was it just sort of trusting the process? What was different from first half to that whistle blowing in the second half? Yeah, uh, a bit of both. I think at half time, you know, we always we always have conversations, you know, like back line, what do you see? What do you need? Like where where's that little tiny one percent that we're missing to go from, you know, almost a goal, fifty fifty with Alyssa off the line to, you know, clear cut chances or positions that P, you know, is famous for, you know, and things like that. And so it's just the group speaking to each other, letting each other know what they need from the front line or what the front line see and feel that need a little bit better from the back line or the midfield and then it's obviously Laura coming in and really kind of just giving us belief and added momentum um, you know we all felt the same way that you know it was coming you know first 45 minutes you know we were just pushing and pushing and pushing and we believed that, that it was coming we you know talked about a couple of tweaks they worked right away and then it's just more about game management after that we had great players coming on and you know it's just, it's just the way it, it goes really so yeah it's nice for us to be able to talk to each other and say what we need and what we feel we need a little bit more um, and kind of listen to that and then go implement it in the second part that's, that's nice and then is there a little bit of a sigh of relief or a, a nice moment to have it be Pino who opened things up and <laughs> like you said doing what she does hitting that angle twice yeah. like what does that do for the group going into, even just going into playoffs to have her heading like that. Yeah, yeah, of course. I think it's, like what like Ward said, we we created a lot today. You know, we had a lot of really good opportunities in the first half. And, you know, the way that it's been with us this year sometimes, you just kind of go, oh, you just kind of go, it's going to be one of those games again, right? <clears throat> and P does what P does, calms us down, slots in some, you know, specials and game kind of takes care of itself after that and it just gives us loads of confidence you know moving forward everyone kind of I wouldn't say it was a sigh of relief because we really do believe in ourselves but it, it kind of gives us the belief and the momentum now to want to get back to Seattle tomorrow want to get back into training want to make sure we build on this now for Friday on summer so it just kind of gives us excitement and confidence you can jump in at any well, time. You're just yeah, I, don't know, I'm <laughs> I would. I mean, I was just like, I don't know if it's as much as high relief, but like, we're used to seeing it so often in training that it's like it finally it comes off in a game and it puts us up not once but twice. And I think that's when it's like you're seeing what you're doing in training every day that everybody works for, and like it comes off, it comes off all the time. And I think that's what like the more we practice that, the more like it's just the repetition and like believing in each other knowing it's going to come I think that's more of a sigh of relief than all the goals we can score it's just like 
everything we train for, we can do if we put our minds to it. So. All right, we'll take a couple questions on Zoom. Jacob, go ahead. Thank you, Ryan. Hi, Jack. Uh, congrats on the massive win and punching your ticket into the playoffs. Um, first question is, were this probably more for you, Jeff? So, like, were you getting any sort of updates from the sideline as to what was going on with all of the other matches, or were the coaching was uh, everyone on the sideline just kind of making sure that you guys stayed focused on, you know, the game in front of you? No, I, honestly, I didn't hear anything until I came off, um, and I was like, oh, "What's happening?" <laughs> um, I think. We didn't talk about it at half time either. We just were really focused on ourselves. Um, and then I think when we scored the one and the two in quick succession, and then we got the third, well, then it's just game management, right? I mean, because it was in our hands. I feel like had the game gone on and we hadn't scored, then maybe we would have needed some information. But because it was in our hands and we, was, and we scored really quick, and it was like not just one, then it was then two nil. No. And then it was like three no. It's more about just see it out now because we just needed to win and we were in a, a great position to kind of do that. So, not really. Thanks, Jacob. No, um, I mean, right from Jacob, you got one more? Yeah, I do have one okay, more. Um, just uh, right from kickoff, it looked uh, like. The field was just very slippery. Uh, just can you just share? Both of you should share. Like, what was it like? You know, being on the field. Like, was it because of the rain uh, over the weekend? I I mean, personally, it's like because we're we're not used to we we train on grass, but we're used to playing on turf. Yeah. And I think it shows that there have been a lot of games. Like, it was such nice grass, but there were a lot of like, it, especially in the box around the box, it was wet and a little slippery, and there were some holes. So I think that played into it too, like all of warm up everybody's like be smart about that. When you play back pass or when you're trying to clear it, like be smart. So I think that coming along with it has rained and like it, it was cold to so everybody with there were a lot of things going on and I think it was like we we did a good job focusing or covering each other when things like that happened. Yeah, I think this was honestly it was like heavy, you know, like I think there was one run and I was like looking around to Pino and I was like Yo, Pino's like, where you at? She's like, I'm coming, but I'm stuck in this turf. So, that it was, it was slippery. It was falling apart, and it was heavy. And so, I feel like you could see that a little bit sometimes with attacks, and the ball would hold up, and, and things like that. So it was a tough. It was a tough field to play on. There was like there was big wind too. So we had that against us first half and in second half obviously like that's helpful for us then um so the conditions were you know they were tough for, for both teams i wouldn't say that it was you know a perfect condition to play to play football at all all right thank you Diego. Yeah, and we'll take one from nika nika it's nico the house sound is in air sports network uh for claudia here uh not that the regular season is concluding i was wondering if you could talk about your journey from the rings number two keeper to the number one spot and how you plan to take that mentality into the playoffs yeah I mean I touched on it a little bit in the press conference yesterday but it was um, I I've admitted it a lot of places but I don't think I would be in this position without a lot of my teammates especially Jess and like everybody kind of helped me believe in myself um, but just like confidence wise like it's hard to you, you play a lot in college everybody does and then Becoming a professional is so different, um, and being a goalkeeper is very challenging at times. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think the Challenge Cup helped us a lot. Like, Laurel pushed me every day, even in those trainings, because Fallon was playing for two years, basically. So me and Laurel just worked hard, pushed each other every day, and I think she's one of the people, along with Jess, that like helped me believe more in myself, and let that, like, I started to believe it, and I started, I feel like I've been playing better since then after the first few games and I think the challenge got helped a lot everybody gave gave me a lot of confidence all the teammates everybody did well like everybody's played well in the challenge cup games I think that continued to give me confidence but yeah I mean it's very different like you think going into challenge cup it's just another game but once you start playing in the regular season like it is very different and I've realized that um, probably the hard way but yeah, I mean, 
I hope to continue the confidence, but I definitely wouldn't be anywhere where I am right now without my teammates. Thank you. And a follow-up question for, for Jess. Uh, could you talk about the, the, the third goal that you were able to get for the game today? Uh, just your thoughts on that, on the play? Celebration. Yeah. Um, honestly, I at the time, I didn't feel like I was offside. Um, so when the flag went up real late, I was, you know, questioning it in my head. Um, but then it took a while to go to VAR, so I was like, oh, like I, I generally must have been outside, which was, you know, upsetting. Um, but then when they went to VAR, I was like, oh, okay, well now, now they're gonna see it. But I think in the play, I just, I could, I just saw that Lani was gonna just go through the ball. I, I knew that she wasn't gonna try and play short in that because it was quite like a, like a, like a duel almost. So I just knew, I just. I just knew she was going to play it, so I just kind of took a risk really on my movement because had had it not gone past that play, I Laura probably would have shouted at me that I that I needed to wait um, because they would have been on the counter and I would have been out of position. But thankfully, it went past sharp balls and and after I actually even though I scored, I really have to give credit to Alyssa because. She stood her ground for so long, and as I was running, I was like, when are you gonna move? <laughs> when are you gonna move so that I know where I'm gonna go? And she did not buckle at all. And then I was like, oh, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do now, because you're not moving, which means, well, and then I was like, I'm too late. It was, it was, a, it was a real conversation in my head at that point, all because Alyssa <laughs> was standing firm and not buckling, um, but thankfully I managed to just get it under her last second. So uh, yeah, there's a lot. You'd be surprised what type of conversations <laughs> happening in that forty meter run. Let me tell you. <laughs> so I blame Alyssa for that. But uh, yeah, thankfully it went in. Thankfully there's VAR, all that stuff. And I think the third goal really gave us um, a little bit of breathing space. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Jess. Thanks, Claudia.